Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pierre Léonard, Colonel Pharmacist in the French Military Health Service. I'm project manager and I will present a dematerialization project between our supply chain system and partners. First, what is the French Military Health Service? This is a 16,000 military and civilian people working in all areas of the health. The military health service fulfills a double-oriented mission in one hand for the benefit of armed forces and on the other for the national public health system. We have five components. Education and training. There are three schools providing initial and continuing education to medical and paramedical people. They are training them for the environment military. Unit medical support. Over 250 military medical centers and unit medical services provide outreach medical support to the armed forces, whether on the national territory, overseas, and in operations abroad. Military hospitals. The main missions of the nine military hospitals include the provision of specialist medical health care and, um, and expert resources, as well as the training of medical and paramedical personnel. This personnel contribute to staffing medical treatment facilities deployed in operations abroad. The medical logistics component supplies drugs and medical equipment to the medical services of the units, military hospitals, and medical treatment facilities in missions. Finally, we have research centers. The research work focuses mainly on medical protective measures against radiological, biological, chemical, and nuclear risks, CBRN risks. What, whatever the circumstances, especially during operations abroad, the military health service provides medical and, support and uh, surgical support as close to the casualties as possible. For better efficiency, several types of structures provide medical care for an injured. Within combat units on the battlefield, the medical team has mobile resources in the care of trauma patients. Light hospitals are placed closer to the combat units. Surgeons and anesthetists realize the damage control and the treatment of extreme emergencies. Early and systematic medical evacuations provide the transport of the wounded at the larger hospitals, in situ or in metropolis. French military health service is present on overseas theaters as in France. Here you can see a one-year-old card of our operations abroad. Now we, are, we, live, we have lived Afghanistan and Pakistan. We are present on all the sub-Saharan fringe in Chad, Mali, Niger, Mauritania, Burkina Faso, and on the Middle East, Lebanon and Iraqi. We have an interposition force in Central African Republic to assist United Nations we fight against illegal gold panning or mining in French Guiana. We fight against piracy in the Arabian Sea. Last year, more than 2,000 people of the health service has gone in operations. For the medical logistics, we have a specific organization with a health product supply direction, the DAPSA, an industrial pharmacy unit, the PCA, in Orleans too, one blood bank in the suburb of Paris, two pharmaceutical warehouses in Marseille and uh, Vitry-le-François, and one biomedical equipment warehouse for maintenance operation and storage, the SMSSA. These units are in charge of manufacturing and buying, stocking and distributing 
specific drugs and equipment aimed at treating wounded and sick people on the national territory and in operations abroad. URSA and ECMSSA constitute and maintain the war endowments. For medical logistics, we have Synapse. It's an integrated information system that ensures the essential of our needs. Sourcing and reception, handling, stockage, pharmaceutical production, sales and distribution, and so on. The system developed in two years was deployed in 2012. The system is also interfaced with other for the maintenance management and for the continuation of financial processes. Now, we are developing interfaces with other partners, including industrial laboratories and other suppliers. I will briefly detail our paperless trade project. Synapse is already interfaced with Chorus since two years. Chorus is the financial system of the French state. Contracts and prices are synchronized with chorus. We ask automatically the commitment of authority. Now we are developing the paperless exchanges with suppliers. The orders is under development. It will be tested in January. The preparation of the dispatch advice, the SADV, will begin at that time, in January too. We started to use the invoice message for four months. In parallel, we have developed all the messages with our hospitals. We need to test them. Finally, Synapse is connected to the new military transport system for five months. We use the SACC code and the GLN to track the resources. In this complexity, process owners require a lot of reliable data at the right time. The data administrator is always looking for good characteristics about the medical devices, drugs, and other products. He's very busy and very tired. This is actually a main problem for different professions, logisticians, sellers, procurement officers, cheapers and exporters, hospital pharmacists, and so on. Then we must automate data exchange with the suppliers. And we have the solution. A real opportunity is using the Global Data Synchronization Network, the GDSC. Not in 10 years, not in five years, but now. Now because we need to anticipate the regulation on medical device, UDI, and drug serialization. Now because data quality makes processes more fluid, without errors, then safer. Now because we must facilitate the electronic exchange. Now because we have less and less person, people to enter information in our systems. Then it's a major challenge. And I hope that all the actors, suppliers and beneficiaries in the health sector consider it as such. I have finished my presentation. Thank you very much. And I'm giving the floor to Jean-Michel Descoutures.